Record. Record. Are you, are you recording it, Terry? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, Pauline wanted to do something different this year. What she wanted to do was have people assigned to work in different areas on public mm -hmm. image within the public image committee. This is the first time we've ever done this. So there's gonna be a learning curve. But um, today I'm gonna to share with you what I think Pauline means and Pauline will step in and let me know if this is not the direction that she wants to go. So with that said, I was gonna just kind of tell you who's doing what. Yeah. Donald Hovis is gonna be handling social media. And what that means is he will work with the PI chairs in the clubs to make sure that they know how to post on Facebook, Twitter, et cetera and we'll give them any guidance at all that they need. And if he comes across something that he thinks would be good for them to post on their Facebook page that re pertains to all of Rotary, he will send it out to them. He'll let them awesome. know. Is that good so far, That's Colin? Good. Okay. How's um, it work for you, John? Works for me. Okay, okay. Brooke uh, Vu is, she's president of her club this year, as well as Donald is president of his. But Brooke is also a Rotaractor, so she's going to work with the clubs that sponsor the um, Rotaract and Interact clubs. Good. And she will be working with those clubs on how the Rotaract and Interact clubs can be promoted. And in doing so, making sure that Rotary is recognized as being a sponsor of these clubs. Because that's not happened in the past. If a Rotaract club does something, Rotary really kind of gets pushed to the side. So we want to make sure that Brooke will keep yeah. these people in the forefront. Um, Terry Moore is going to do website and DACDB. He's there to help us. And we have talked, what, for like a year and a half now, Pauline, on doing some revisions on the website. Yeah. And at some point in time, we're going to do that. But we'll keep all of you posted on that. We're, you know, we know that it needs work. Terry knows that it needs work. We just haven't done anything yet. Yeah. But there are a lot of eyes looking at it to see what we can do. Yeah. Uh, Terry also will be helping you with DACDB. Anybody needs some help on how to do anything on DACDB, Terry's going to be your guy. And I'll send this out to all the PI chairs so that they know this. And when we go to vibrant training, we'll be ahead of the curve because we already know what we're going to be doing and how we want to train the PI chairs. Cynthia is going to be working with Paula Matthews on the foundation and coming up with ways that we can promote the foundation and give public image or let the public know what the foundation is doing. Um, membership, we're still looking for somebody. Pauline and I've talked about it. There's um, a guy at Spring Valley, I think that's a club, that might be interested. I'm going to talk with him later on today or in the morning and see if he would do the membership part mm -hmm. for us. And Ken is going to be our logo and design assistant person if Anybody in any of the clubs needs a banner or, <laughs> I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, a banner or um, shirts or signs, or if they're getting ready to do a brochure or something like that, and they're not sure that they're using the um, master brand signature and the mark of excellent correctly, they can send it to Ken and Ken knows the guidelines. He knows what RI will and will not accept. And so he can give them some guidance there. And this year, we're also promoting the concept of um, the Three Musketeers. Some of you know about that, some of you don't. The Three Musketeers is the importance of making sure that membership, foundation, and public image all work together, one for all, all for one. So that if you promote each one equally and everybody knows what the other person's doing, Rotary will be stronger for it. If you get members, the members will put money into the foundation, the foundation will have more money to do things and all this will happen if public image is there and the public is aware of what Rotary is doing. It's a concept. Pauline, is that the way you see this? That's it. Yeah, just to elaborate a little bit about the, the trio. Um, and you've heard this before during other membership uh, training um, that, that have taken place. Engagement is key. Why people join Rotary. They join mostly for service above self and Still, a majority of them join for the ability to do international projects and do something greater than themselves, greater than their community, greater than their nation. So that's still key. So that's why I found a, that's, that's who Rotarians are. Um, our public image, it's, 
also image for our club, not just the general public. So, you know, I don't want just to focus on that. Whatever we do in our clubs, half the time our own club members don't even know what we're doing, literally, honestly. Um, and for the foundation, uh, public image, I have some ideas like when I do my grant, I make sure anything that we do related to our grant, for instance, has the Rotary Foundation at the bottom and an explanation that we received a grant from District 770 funded by the you know, Rotary Foundation. So start to incorporate that more so the members understand it. Um, so that th that the the club itself gets recognized for it and the community knows where it's coming from so so for instance our um our literacy program so we we buy books for any child who completes the summer reading program at the library and of course we have our placket in there for our club but i make sure on that that it does say everything about myrtle beach rotary club and blah 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 um you know the reason why we support literacy but at the bottom i always have that clip and that's something anybody can put on there so maybe um cynthia that's something that you can design or somebody can design or can that it's a, that's just like a pdf format all you do is email it to them they slap it on whatever whatever they do that you know that the foundation might i gotta slow down okay. well the other thing colleen is is anybody can go to the people of action website and donald i think you know about this and put a picture in there and from there it will put in what a, whatever kind of title that you want and then you can take that and make it a facebook post ken told me this morning he was at a board meeting for his club and um blunt shepherd said that they did the rise against hunger meal packing thing and it was posted on facebook and he said he looked around and he knew that it was Rotarians doing it, but nobody else did. Yeah. Raza Against Hunger was recognized, but Rotary was not. So yeah. this is the type of thing that we want to make sure that when a club posts something on a Facebook page or on a website yeah. page, be sure and put that it is Rotary doing it, not just Raza Against Hunger. Right. So, and for and, them... And we, Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say, and for them and members and in the club and the community that they know that the money came through the Rotary Foundation. Right. As right. well. Right. So maybe we could do a standard clip that, you know, think about that, that we just, that our club members, I forget how I used mine. This fund, this project was made possible through a grant from the Rotary Foundation, blah, blah, blah. It's standard. Yeah. It wasn't anything, you know, that was just particular to my club, but any club that's doing anything, it should be on it. Should it be part of your membership uh, brochure too, Ken? Like, you know, a whole section about the Rotary Foundation and how our project, that monies that we raise are used to da, 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 go back. It's always left off of that. And I'm like, gee, we're asking for membership, but they don't, you know, they come in and they go, you're not, you know, give to the foundation. Like, what's that, you know? But anyway, right. I think some of that discover Rotary too. Um, and we need to look, take a look at that presentation too. Maybe there's a way to incorporate it more in there, but um, th well, that's a good Cynthia way to get the word Paula out too. I think have been working on some ideas of things that they can do to, to get foundations oh, more out there and to make sure yeah. that it's rotary related. Um, and we've done a good job, even in the people that turned in information for the awards for this year. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna give those out, but I got more than I've ever gotten, and they were a little beefier than they've ever been. I mean, it's it's finally catching on. I mean, I've been doing this for what, four years now? I feel like we really have some traction now. People are starting to understand the importance of Rotary's public image. Um, Ken, I think in his presentation, talked about Four Oceans and the Red Cross, and it's not bragging, it's just that everything those two that I can think of right off the top of my head, everything they do, it's marked. It's yeah. on everything they touch. That's important. You want to know who's doing the good. Yeah. So, but we're getting there. I, I think we've, we've come a long way. Okay, comments from anybody? Ken? Do you want to talk a little bit about how you think you might want to approach um, the ideas that the areas that you have if you know if you've um and if you're, you're not hearing it for the first time today right so um cynthia you said you had some ideas you and paula were working on do you want to share them with us and
Cynthia? I was, sorry, she didn't hear me now. She, mu she muted us. <laughs> I, I have my windows open. I don't want you to hear all the cars driving by or interrupt. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> um, so at this point in time, a lot of what uh, we are talking about is actually putting together a social media campaign. So I'm glad you guys opened that up to me because I had a question about that. I know at this point in time, Donald is the one handling all of the social media training with the clubs. Am I allowed to post to the district Facebook page to allow um, like a nine for foundation uh, social media post that clubs can share? Yeah, I don't know. That wouldn't Absolutely. impact posting. You, yeah, you, I, I think you, that I that agree. Absolutely. Yep. What, Donald? I agree. If you feel it's worthy, post. Yeah. Okay. The more the more traffic we can push towards, you know, our district Facebook page, the better off we'll be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I see no problem with that at all. Instagram and Twitter and what other accounts we have, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, in fact, we should encourage clubs to um and, and then and then the other thing is too, the newsletter, even though it's internal, so we still need to talk to our members about it, the our newsletter. Um that's another place that everything that should just be posted on there that goes on Facebook because half half the people don't have fa Facebook. So um, I think that that guide you're talking about that would make a good newsletter article. Mary, remember you said there was something that would be good in our newsletter as well as on Facebook and as well as an email. I don't think you can overdo it because not everybody has the same access to information like you know they're not crazy like us with whatsapp this that go here go there um you know, they'd like to check one place uh and usually it might even be a hard copy i don't know i don't know how we deal with those folks yet but yeah i think i think that's that's great like if each category was posting something um well i, I think that might be a good topic to try and start getting some of these zoom meetings going with the public image chairs and yeah you know even if we only get 30 people on board you know we're still sharing ideas out there and right it, the topics don't have to be you know full-blown this is nope. everything you need to know about public image you know they could be as minute as you know this is the best way to use hashtags you know that's and, a key actually yeah I really do. I, I really do think so. And maybe um, we, we have a list of our hashtags that brings them to our um, to to our page to our uh, uh, tags us in certain things from the clubs to start using. That I would know, be good too. I know Cynthia taught it at the last event, you know, but these are quick, simple topics that yeah. you know, we'd be hosting in, in the Zoom meetings. And yeah, and I want to see this really getting out in front of this crowd because uh you know right now i mean it's it's imperative yeah um so just on a sidebar too so terry did george reach out to you to send out an email george chastain no when, when? so anyways so so we had talked about on whatsapp about the april 24th uh date and um what i might do about that and we did agree to um cancel that um uh, meeting right. that's uh the school's cl college is closed we were in orangeburg you know the whole spiel um but we're going to be doing the zoom meeting on um back to the zoom meeting importance the secretary and the treasurers and we're moving public image the full blown until uh hopefully we can meet on september 18th we should be able to by then so you'll have a full three four hour session and foundation will have one and then there's the last segment of the of the membership one so um that that's what the plan is now and an email should come out about that i haven't i haven't talked to george but we need to talk about that because you yeah, our account uh, i'd have to check but i don't think you can have two meetings going on simultaneously so maybe what we would do is you know membership would be from nine to 10, you know, join in the Zoom meeting, uh, foundation would be from 10 to 11, you know, and as the interest people come and go throughout the whole meeting, I, I don't know. Um, I think we're just gonna do secretary and treasurer. Okay. Um, the fact that you're talking about doing the public image with all the committee public image chairs, 
um, maybe a couple of those before the S September 18th thing, but the sub September 18th training will be in person. Right. Yeah. So the only thing we would do, because anything that's sort of, um, I feel like creative people need to bounce stuff off and they, that visual and they like to, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really, I've been on some Zoom meetings where with my colleagues and stuff where inf important information is being passed and you know they're on mute and you know that they're doing something else and you can see that they're, they're not even engaged at all. And they go, oh, I didn't know that happened. Well, yeah, you were on the call. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I feel like folks that are used to like transactional, um, more more administrative type uh, work do, really do well on the Zoom type of full training. Like they would you listen for an hour and a half on, you know, where do you post this? And there's, but when it's creative people, um, I feel like, I know I do too. I bounce off of people's other day, ideas. Like when you said um, something, Terry, it made me think, oh yeah, how about that? You know, reminded me about the April 24th thing or um, the foundation um, ideas about that and that little graphic that may, we might want to create that uh, people can use. So I don't know, I, that's how. So as of right now, um, April 24th will be, um, as I said, I think he wants one on April 24th for, he's going to get to you. He, we talked about it yesterday. In fact, I emailed him earlier and said, okay, did we decide who was sending out the email? <laughs> like, are you sending out the email or am I sending out the email? Um, so anyways, the next day or so, but I was, we had on April 24th, we had Audley Knight coming, who is the regional membership for Rotary International. He has now put the dates for the three membership um, summits on his on his uh, calendar, and he'll he'll try to attend one in person, make a club visit while he's here, and zoom in on the other two that we have. So so that's good support. And he he talks about um, like all the new club models. That's another thing that people are, I mean, I, I don't even remember them all and how they work. And, you know, there's so many different ways that everything's been relaxed so much. Like for instance, Rotaract does not need a sponsor to be a Rotaract club, even if it's in a school, they don't need it unless the school requires it. So they're full fledged Rotary clubs, things like that. People, I mean, that just all just passed. So I might have heard it three times, but ha probably half the club presidents heard it once at my training and that was it. So I feel like even though we say things, like you said, we've done the hashtag thing. An hour after they're gone, they're going, oh, what? wait, what was that hashtag? Oh, did I write it down? Well, Colleen, it's like, Competition. It's, yeah. it's like Tim said, you have to say, tell them again and again. Yeah. And again. Repetitive so, training, absolutely. Repetitive and it's yeah. not that they don't understand. It's just that, if you're in marketing, you understand, you say it and you say it and you say it and you say it. And like the night time, oh yeah, got it. I yeah. Understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I understand that. And I think they do too. And they welcome it. Very few people say, oh, they keep repeating the same stuff. No, like at that last membership summit, everybody's like, oh, we did a whole thing. Remember the one in August, everybody was complaining about it. And then they left, oh yeah, we got all these great ideas. We're going to do yeah. this and that. They were some of them, most of them were repetitive, but they didn't really hear them the first time or it didn't strike them the same way or something like well, that. Well, so. I, I know that membership is doing a good job because membership is up, but I also feel like, and foundation always does a good job and Paul is gonna do an excellent job with it and with Cynthia's help, they're gonna mm -hmm. hit the ground running. But I do feel like public image is starting to come into its own and it's because we just keep pounding them with it and keep saying it and keep saying it and keep saying it. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's it's far behind. Trust me, foundation and membership uh lag behind in knowledge understanding too. So when I say that, I don't want you to think that it's uh that we haven't done right. what we should have. We have. But we have we need to repeat it that's all um membership now membership will be important for uh public image as well because each um, mar uh, membership summit has to understand foundation and public image so those will be yeah. presented at the same so you've actually grown exponentially because of what you're covering you know you used to be just okay public image 
but now you're getting into what really public image uh, I think what some of the, I think I told you that we went around with the presidents last year. They didn't feel like they got, we, the district wasn't doing enough or Rotary International doesn't do enough to help market them. They don't, you know what I'm saying? So marketing them comes from themselves, not from anything that Rotary International can do for, you know, 80 clubs in a, you know, East Coast of South Carolina, that, that stuff we have to develop ourselves. So I feel like if we're getting down with them and they have a dedicated club uh, person to go to for public image for that, they'll have a public image specialist just on foundation. If they want to do something, they're having a dinner or something like that, they can tap S Cynthia and say, what, you know, how would I promote this foundation, you know, um, you're, Mary's not only the chair of this, but she's also handling all the public image for our million dollar campaign, which with everybody's stocks in the tank right now, no one's doing happy dance bubble by next May. Uh, well, that's we'll going to be left up to Ken to come up with some really, really good graphics for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ken. Don't sleep. You won't sleep till you get it done. Just kidding. We need more than the musketeers. We need like a whole regime or something. But anyway, <laughs> it'll it'll all work out. You know that everybody will be uh, once we get through this thing. Um, you know everybody will be back on board and I have an even better understanding. Of, not that I wish this on anybody or anything, but I feel like all the members that never understood about what polio, what Rotary did for polio, will get it now. Okay one little pocket of the world and a virus spread. Well, that's what polio was. That's Same the, thing. That's interesting you said that because I was telling Hallie, our daughter, the other day, I said, you know, the scare that we have right now was the same kind of scare we had with polio. The difference is restaurants didn't close because you didn't have as many restaurants and not people didn't go out to eat the way they do yeah. now. But they closed movie theaters and swimming, any youth of sports, anything youth was yes, canceled. Anything, yeah. Swimming pools, swimming was beaches, a big one. Like that closed. So you guys are experiencing what we have already experienced, not on as great a scale, but it was still scary. Um, it didn't well, and the effects are were more crippling and damaging. Right. I mean, I know there's deaths, and then, yeah, it could kill you, but yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Um, Anyway, I, think, I think we're getting there. I, and what we're going to do is maybe once the new rotary year goes into effect, once a month, we'll have a Zoom meeting and I'll say, okay, tell me where you are. Tell me what you're doing. Mm -hmm. The other thing we're going to promote at the, when we have our in-person meeting is we're going to tell the clubs, the PI chairs, if any club wants us to come as a group and do a presentation on what mm -hmm. public image does yeah. and how can help you we'll be happy to do it donald i see donald as being really the sole part of that and he, he was out there last year and as well as cynthia and i don't know that anybody ever took us up on the offer for them to come talk to the club about using social media did they did you get called out at all did donald did you or cynthia get any calls no but i know I've, i know i'll get more this year for sure. i hope so yeah, yeah. And if anybody else on the public image committee, if you want us to go with you, we'll go with you. To, I, I went to one in, Ken, where did we go that I talked about public image? It was- I don't, uh, Henry, I, don't, I don't remember. I think it was Henry Chastain's club. They just wanted to know, you know, what they could do to get their image out there, to get Rotary out there and to get their club out there. So, I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty neat, pretty cool to do. Yeah. So we will promote that as well, that the public image committee will mm -hmm. go as one or two or three or four, however they want us to group it. Yeah. And, uh, Terry, this question can cover your area. So that's yeah. Fine. So Terry, I have a question for you. Hey, um, the do we have a survey mechanism on our Jack D B? Uh yes, but I don't think it's live yet. Um, because it's in trial. Let me look right quick. Um, well, here's the thing. I mean, um, SurveyMonkey is only like $5 a month. We could be, instead of guessing 
um, you know, we could be setting surveys out and getting more specific feedback on what they feel their needs are or, um, I have a lot of questions in my mind, like with rescheduling things and like, for instance, that the president roundtables that Johnny had, I mean, I went to, um, I think I went to half of them. I, I couldn't make it to the Hilton Head ones because they're just too far. But um, so I had gone on those and I thought they went okay. It was sort of just like a, a rehash of the pets training in abbreviated form. And um, so I thought we don't need to do those if, you know, when the AGs are like, no, the presidents love those. I'm like, okay, because, you know, they usually complain, oh, another night out, another this, another that. But it was kind of like the membership summit. They complained, but they liked it and they want it back. Same thing with the membership yeah, I, summit. The, uh, yeah. the, the survey module is active, um, but it's still kind of in a testing mode. And I think it's limited to three questions on the survey. But uh, we could create one, send it out to the district. But with three questions. I mean, so what? So how, are they going to charge us for that? Uh, that's a eventually down the line. If if you wanted to do that, yes, they will. But because I mean, Survey Monkey is like awesome. You could, I mean, it's only like five dollars a month. I was talking about that to Paul and Johnny yesterday. Like we could, you know, in advance know what you know, what what the what do they. But we could send it out and say for the public image, um, you know, you could ask three things, you know, wh what is the number one priority of uh, your um, club this year? Well, one of the things is we talked about, Mary, we talked about this a couple of times, having at the training, actually walking through with them, writing down and creating their club's public image plan. That would be awesome because now they wrote it down. They'd have questions. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Then the public image you can just go back to them and say, okay, how, you know, how, how, report out on how your plan is going. And it calls them back to it. Um, I think, Don, did you and have somebody you in your club on. write the public image plan? Did your club write your public image plan? Uh. I don't believe we did something as, as elaborate as your club. It was my club. Okay. Yeah. And Denise Ken, I Blackburn think, touched on, I think Denise Blackburn, you got to reach out to her and see if she'll do a Zoom training and walk people through writing their, I think there's something on Rotary International. It is. About, Ken, Ken touched on that when he did his um, presentation on having a strategic plan, the importance of it. And I know that there is, um, Stephanie in zone 33 will also do a program on a strategic plan, how to write it and what okay. it means. That's two different, two different things. So the strategic plan, we did talk a lot about it. Lou talked about it at AG. The strategic plan is for the club. A public image plan is just what you're doing for public image in your club. Right, right. But it's a strategic plan for public image. Not for right. the club. But it's not as lengthy as the big no, strategic no, 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 it's not. But it is, the, the other thing we talked about was if a club is going to do a project, if it's a foundation project or whatever it is, having a check sheet of things that you do when you start it, like send out press releases, have a banner, do you have t-shirts, a checklist. Okay, who's so, doing that? Do we have that? We've got yes. it. We've got several of them. Yeah. Okay. But the ones we have right now are very long. What I wanted to do is tailor this thing down. Okay. Make it a smaller thing, a one page instead yeah. of a 17 page that it exists in now. Yeah. I've got three or four of them that are very lengthy. Okay. Um, but we can't. I'll get back on it. <laughs> well, I don't mean to give you more more work, but since you're quarantined to your chair, My no, I'm just saying no. But scary. I'm just saying, like, um, so it would be for if you're holding a like your district conference or what? It's a plan for just an event, right, Ken? That you're working on events. Is it an event plan? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think um. I think we could ask uh, for one of the Zoom meetings to have um, 
I mean, that's, De that's Denise. She's public, she's a public relations person. So that's different than a marketing company or whatever, but she, she did do, and it's not that long. It's two pages. Did you read it, Don? Uh, the, the plan that Denise did? I did. Yeah, I did. It was very, it was very well done. Yeah. And it's short, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so precise. It's precise. Okay, precise. Yeah. So maybe that's the first Zoom you can offer the public image plan for instead of the April, instead of the April one, how we're having for the secretaries, we're having treasurer, and you could do one for public image on writing your plan. And I mean, we only have an hour, right? Oh, we only have an hour, Terry, is on this Zoom. Yeah. How much yeah. does it cost if we ever had to go over an hour? Um, I think you can go over an hour for a little bit. I, I've been in Zoom meetings where we've gone longer than an hour, but you know, technically it's yeah, it's an hour. You know? Ours went an hour and six minutes, and I was buzzed out. I was buzzed out. We were buzzed out after that yesterday. So, but I'm just saying, in an hour, do you think you could do a? You could you could do um. What is this doing? Anyway, um see how long if she could do it in an hour if not can we research how much we'd have to pay to do it longer than an hour is it a lot of money i can no it's not a lot of money okay um because i feel like the other thing is some of the things that would be so helpful to us in gathering data like the like the survey monkey if it's only five bucks that's like 65 70 bucks a year why you know i <laughs> it'd be so valuable to have that information then we could use it after the we could use it after the sessions instead of hard copy paper. It could be environmentally friendly. That's another thing our members are looking for us to be more considerate about. That could be one of the things we say we're doing. I mean, I don't know. Just a thought. Well, just so y'all know, my computer knocked me off, so I missed the whole strategic planning thing. So. Uh, <laughs> I know. Sorry. I, I don't know why it dropped me. Did you get it, Ken? No, it dropped me as well. Yeah. So uh, I missed everything y'all said about strategic planning. I was wondering how y'all ended up in a different place. I'm like, oh, how come they're moving her? on my screen? Before I was looking over there, and now I'm like, where, where did they go? And Terry's yeah, there, no, and you're it, there. It, 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 that's, it just that's one of the, me. the target items to check is your bandwidth when you're hosting Zoom events. Ah, OK. We've never had a problem before, Terry. I don't know why it dropped us today. It's been awfully <laughs> slow. I guess it's because all this everybody in the world is at home. I know. <laughs> and I know. Doing Zoom meetings and everything else. I know. Um, so anyway, um, what I was saying is one of the first things you could invite them to in lieu of the April 24th. So when the email goes out, um, you, we can just invite the public image people to a one hour, because we're limited right now. I don't know if it has to be. Um, if, if I felt did you feel you could complete one in an hour? I would think so. If you answer a series of questions, like Ken said, he, he's got a 17 page one, but if he narrowed it down to eight questions, right, it could fit on one and a half pages, right? So what are the key questions that they would need to know? What if each of you that has a piece of public image, write down one question you would want to ask the, the folks or one or two, uh, for the clubs, and then they would know uh, how to develop their plan. The first thing is to attend, like, not, not difficult. If you're having a Zoom meeting every month, whatever you said you were going to do, it doesn't, doesn't matter to me. I'm just using an example. But um, so once a month, you're having a public image Zoom meeting. So that should be in their plan. <laughs> participate in the monthly Zoom meeting, right? right. Yeah. Well, Ken, and I, Ken and I can work on that because he's written strategic plans before and he certainly knows how to do that. Yeah. So he can take what we've got. And that's a good idea if everybody wants to send us a question of what they would want asked or required right. from their area. And maybe look at the one Rotary has online, uh, has on the database too. And maybe y'all can check check it out and see what you think is important on that. Maybe that's the way to go. Look at that one that's online about, um, look, I wish I had more hair. My hat wouldn't fly around on my head while I'm talking. Uh, um, yeah, go on there and see what questions you think are relevant to what you're gonna be doing. And then um, we can start 
as that is the form and we can send it out ahead of time before the training and they can start to be thinking about it okay. since we only can ask three questions on the survey okay. but, and what maybe do do one or do you do two i don't know what any, everyone's energy level is like but if you pick one time you know maybe it I, I think pauline what we'll do is we'll see how the first one goes and it may be that we don't need to do it every month it depends on what's going on and yeah i just use that as an example want. yeah yeah, I, I didn't want to bog to everybody down and be overwhelming or to have yeah. them on a Zoom call and we don't say anything different than what we said before. So let's just see how that goes. When and do we want to do this? April, well, April. April 24th was the date. So George is going to send out, um, we're going to let them know that it's canceled in person and there will be Zoom, there will be Zoom meetings. So and what uh, is exactly going on on April 24th? nothing in person anymore we it's were been, going to have be a canceled. vibrant club be a vibrant please. club yeah yeah that was okay. the date of our be a vibrant club at orangeburg technical okay. and they're closed yeah so the zoom meeting is going to be everything we were gonna do or just one hour or one hour and we're saying we're gonna do it like each section by an hour uh no you're gonna have one hour to tackle i would say the plan because that's more important and then you're going to still have on september 18th your full press your full three hours is being moved to september 18th um i'll i'll send you guys out something on it because it might be that we don't all have to be on it but we want to make sure that the public image chairs are on it which by the way terry has everybody sent in who their public image chairs are for this coming no. year? Do you know? Not all of them. Um, we're missing, I think, three clubs, or no, yeah. about five clubs. Uh, actually, can, I, two, can you two tell two me who they are and I'll clubs. call them? Yeah, I can get, I'll give you the list. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then can you send the list out to all of us once they're all in? Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So then uh, September's meeting, or September, the date that we have in September is going to be the in-person training. Yes. We're going to be telling everybody to plan for. Right. Well, as soon as we know that we can do it in September. It's a thing that we went to last year at Orangeburg Tech, you remember? Yeah. Okay. It's that same thing. We have three hours, so we'll have to share it between all of us, which won't be, won't be a problem. Right. But, but the um, planning is going to take place before July 1st. They have to have their plan in place. Right. Because the, the rotary year starts July 1st. Right. So if y'all will all send me a question that you would like to see answered in the planning, what's important to your area, let Ken and I work on it from that standpoint. They may be wondering now, many of them are gonna be the same person, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? How they carry them over and over. Um, some will be new, but what is our strategy really from public image viewpoint on dealing with this quarantine? And um, that might be a, that might be something you want to cover too. And you got that email. You said, Mary, there was some good stuff in there that you you thought would. Be um, yeah, from uh, North Carolina, they had a lot of good things that clubs could be doing right now. Mm -hmm to um from helping the public to just the rotarians themselves keeping involved and yeah. good ideas for meetings mm -hmm. i was going to type something up on that and post it and the thing that you sent me i've got to get ken to convert that pdf over to something that i can post on to facebook because okay. it's pdf yeah. will post yeah so um, and maybe yeah, in the newsletter put it in the newsletter what clubs right. can be doing because maybe that comes in their inbox so they don't have to go out to a, you know, a social media site of right. any kind. Right. Might, that might be helpful. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have, oh, Terry, I think you wanted to talk to us a little bit about the website. Mm -hmm. um, well, no, not website. Just if, I think you all saw in the email that I sent out for Johnny about using, have, allowing the clubs to use it, yeah. Zoom account right uh, i've already had a couple of clubs call me and make schedule that sort of thing um it's it's really just there's a lot of little tricks with zoom that you know maybe we could have a 
short little tutorial about Zoom and send it out to the public image chairs. Uh, That'd be great. You know who likes to do that? If you don't want to, Terry, Bill Oliver's good at it. Yeah. He likes making those things. Um, and Mary, Mary tried it once Mary's too. Done a couple, Mary's done a couple too that, Yeah. you know. That's yeah. a great idea. So, so you're going to say, here's the offer. Terry's going to say, here's the offer. And if you'd like to watch this video and maybe that'll, maybe that'll ease them into wanting to do it if they've never done it before. Yeah. I mean, that would be a good thing to send out. I mean, people have time right now. We still have, I don't know what day everyone's on. Um, I think I went into quarantine when I got back from Baton Rouge, let, about, probably eight days, I don't know, nine days, I don't know how when it was. Seems like a hundred years ago, but it was just maybe nine days ago. But um, they got time, so maybe they'll, maybe they'll do it. Maybe they'll learn it. Maybe they'll, you know, play with it. Well, one of the things that um, Harris suggested in meeting the other day was, this is a perfect time for people that don't understand um, how to use my rotary. You can go into the learning center. Mm -hmm. It has all kinds of good information and you take one club even said that they have it set up so that when a club member finishes a module, they turn it in. And so they get credit for having done different things in the learning center. That's, That's a good idea. Pretty good way to get people to learn yeah. how to use the computer. Yeah. To use rotary. My Absolutely. Rotary. Yeah. So it was a, a lot of good information. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to work on things that club members can be doing, things that clubs can be doing, how they can use Zoom. There's a, I think that thing that you sent me today, there's some directions at the bottom on how to do a Zoom meeting. There's a YouTube. Oh, okay. Did you look at that? Yeah. On yeah. the bottom, there's a YouTube that you can look at and it talks about using a Zoom or setting mm -hmm. up Zoom or using Zoom as a meeting. Yeah. You can also do a live feed. We were going to do that two weeks ago, but our speaker canceled, so we just canceled the meeting. On Facebook? You mean on Facebook? Facebook? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Facebook Live. Yeah. And those work, and you can record them and then post them to your page later on. Yeah. But, um, I mean, there are a lot of things you can do that you can still be connected. I, I don't want people to just not go to Rotary and then in three weeks say, yeah, I'm not going again. I've been out for three weeks. I didn't miss it. No. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I and in three weeks, I don't know if we'll even be clear by then, too. It depends, you know. know. Um, so, Terry, can we now, if we're doing these how to videos on our website, can we upload the videos right to the website in a section on just called, um, I don't know what you call it, something, I don't know what, but where they just Zoom. can go. How to use the Zoom? Uh, how so, to use but Zoom I just for yeah, or a pay. It, but however, public image strategies, or I don't know something. I don't know. Um, and I'll, then have all these things listed under there. I'll have I'll have to look. Um, okay. It's it's easier really to upload them into YouTube altogether through using the district YouTube email address. Um, our district I didn't even email. know we had that. A oh Gmail. my lord. Yeah. Any anytime you have a Gmail and. Cynthia, Mary, correct me if I'm wrong. Anytime you have a Gmail, it gives you an, a YouTube account under that email address. So we've got a district email address, a Gmail address. Yes. You just have to activate it if you have a Gmail, yeah. And if we have a district Gmail, Terry, you might look at using Hangouts instead of Zoom because it's going to be free for you. Or if we have to do a certain amount, we have to pay for a certain amount. It's like $5 a month for unlimited. Canceled Hangouts. Unlimited. Um, to an hour, like we could be, I could send you guys calendar invites for these and we could sit on the calendar or we could sit on the video and chat for hours and hours and hours, no limit. I thought they got rid of the hangouts. I had a hangout account and they said they were getting, they, they were terminating them or something. <laughs> hey, I hate to be the, the, uh, bad guy here, but we have got to get them used to using Facebook first. That's true. <laughs> I mean, remember WhatsApp? I mean, that app just about drew, drove people. So crazy. I'm not talking about um, Facebook or Google Plus. I'm talking about a replacement for Zoom because Zoom costs us money. And right. Hangouts is a video chat option, which doesn't cost money. 
Um, and as long as we have one account, you can invite as many people as you want to it and there's no download requirement. So it's easier for people to engage with these video chats and we have no limitation. All right, okay. well, let's look into that. But now, so what's now, what are you saying? WhatsApp is also is one that where you need the phone, you need to have people's phone number to invite them or add them. Is right. Google like that too? <clears throat> nope, you just have to have an email address. Email, yeah, and I can so I could create like an AG um, Google a Hangout with just the AGs on it with a district Gmail account. Yeah, you could use it as a Google Calendar and create a Hangout calendar appointment, and then you can invite people whether they have a Gmail account or not. They just okay. have a link and they can view it, but it's live. Yep, just like this. Hmm. But I don't have to download anything and test the software beforehand. Make sure it's working. Okay, all right. Well, maybe let's you can we use that the next time we have a meeting and try it? Yeah. Yeah, if Terry wants to let me know, I can send it out for my um, software. I already have it all set up. It's how I do all of my um, remote business work. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? Sounds good. Questions, right I will, um, Terry, you recorded this, right? Yes. If so you'll the, send me the recording, I'll get it to Brooke to make sure she's on and in, in yeah. line with what we're doing. And the other and, thing that needs to go out is, you know, they did cancel the Rotary uh, International Convention in Hawaii. So yeah. if, if you want to get that out yeah. on Facebook and stuff, that's yeah. good too. Yeah. And Mary, if you need any help putting together the um zoom meeting in april and talking about the pi plan let me know i do social media and marketing plans all the time for multiple clients i had to throw one together really fast for ken so you guys kind of have an example of what they look like <laughs> all right well good okay yeah, yeah. Get, get those out to me too mary we i've never I I will. okay yeah, yep. we'll send them every, to the whole committee. Yeah, just everything should be circulated amongst the committee so we're all like on the same right. page. How's that? And and y'all please keep me posted on what you're doing because I'm gonna be real embarrassed if something comes out and Pauline calls and says, What's going on here? And I have no clue. Yes. So, and she knows I will. Please let me know what you're doing. I don't know how I find these things. I mean I can tell you what, I could go to my Facebook one day at work no matter where I am, and I don't go on it for months, and I will find the one thing. That was wrong the whole month on there. I don't know what it is. I'm like, what is this? The company's like, I didn't know that was on there. I didn't know that was on there. But well, what I particularly like is when she says, I don't know why this is on there. And do you know who posted it? Well, yeah, that was me. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm like, where did this come from? Well, sometimes there's a name and sometimes there isn't. Yeah. Yeah. So that one didn't have a name. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go sharpen my sword for my next battle. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining us. I appreciate it very much. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll talk soon. All, all right. right. Awesome. All right. Thank you all. Bye. Bye. All right. Leave me.